This next video that I'm going to show is titled Overcoming Fear. And it's a little bit of a historical going back in time uh, video for me. I want to tell you a little bit about uh, when I was young, 18 years old, I got into rock climbing. And a lot of what I learned back then has really helped me out in my tree business and my, my ability to climb. And getting up high in a tree, it can be scary. And if you're not comfortable with heights and you're not comfortable with your balance and your coordination and all the skills that help you to become more proficient, then you're more likely to either hurt yourself or, or not do well. So this video is a little bit more about uh, how I started. I'm, I'm going to go into some stuff that... Uh, my son Kalen did and still does. I've got some interesting historical video from about 12 years ago uh, that I think you'll enjoy of Kalen on a daring adventure. Um, so I hope you like this. When I was young and still in high school, I was a rock climber. I worked out daily to get strong. My goal? El Capitan. I really wanted to climb El Capitan. And here I am, age 18, still in high school. I'm a senior here. And unfortunately, I had three failures before I finally succeeded. When you put yourself in a position like this, and you know you have to overcome your fears because the fears will stop you. Well, I did succeed in 1972, July, I'm topped out on El Capitan. But after living in the valley for a year, I decided it was time for tree work. And in 1980, my son, Kalen, was born. Here he is, age 14, on his first big wall. And, you know, I'm not trying to brag here, but I, I really want to express that the skills that you can learn, balance skills, such as walking a slack line or, you know, any sort of skill like this, it's going to go a long ways into any sport or any activity that, that you um, decide to, to do. And for tree work, you know, you're, you've got a rope above you most of the time, but a lot of the time you're, you're doing what we call limb walking. You know, you're going out these long, long limbs, and, and every experienced climber knows that when you're on a limb, that limb moves much like this slack cable. And um, you're, you're not always at the end of your rope putting all your weight on the rope, a lot of times you're going straight out. You know, you're tied in, but it's different. There's another skill I learned at a very early age. I got my first unicycle when I was 13 years old, and now I'm 67 years old, and I can still do this stuff. And it's all because I learned it at an early age. It doesn't mean you have to do it when you're young. All right, here's this old footage from years ago. It was about 12, 15 years ago. Kalen got into extreme slack cable. And it's, well, actually, it's a rope here, but um, the, the difference between... It looks like they tightened this rope up. It, it's A tighter rope is a little bit easier to climb, but in the middle, there's a lot of movement side to side. So it, it's not like you're walking a, a real rigid uh, type of a surface. I wasn't here for this. This is some video that I got from Kalen, and I thought it would be interesting to show. These are some of his friends. and They set up this um, this line. They, they pretty much always call it a slack line for some reason. But um, learning how to maintain your balance in a situation like this is a real skill. But once you learn it, it, it it's tremendous. This guy was pretty, uh, pretty nervous up here. Here, I move forward here. He's going to try it. This is... This is some scary stuff. It's like a thousand feet straight down. So not only are you working on your skills, you're trying to overcome the fear of heights. And the fear of heights, you know, if you think about it while you're out there, you lose. You just, you just, you, you can't, you know, maintain your level of concentration. That looked like that hurt. You know, just the strength it takes to do something as simple as that is a skill. And all these skills, there's, there's uh, Kalen. <laughs> I, 
I asked him about it later. I, I said, what was it like? He said, absolutely terrifying. <laughs> he is tied in. They're all tied in. But could you imagine missing the rope and having that thing dangle you like a, you're in the end of a fishing pole? Then you'd have to pull yourself up that long <laughs> rope to get back to the main rope. Here he is. He, he decided to go over to the other side and and uh, he went out there and he decided now I, I want to do it from only the one direction. I mean, that that's hard in itself. Look at that. You know, not only the skill and the, the strength you know, to, to manage yourself like that, but to be able to set the location and the fear of where you're at aside. And it's the same in tree work. Figured it would be easier if you took a shirt off, you know, less weight. <laughs> I am impressed. I really am impressed. I've been doing slack cables my whole life, but I have never done one at extreme height like this. I think the highest I've ever done was about 10 feet off the ground, which is still intimidating. But to do something like this, this is serious overcoming of your fears. I want you to take notice of the expression. He finally did it. He looks like he's just about ready to, ah, uh, the sigh of relief. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Good job, kiddo. So these other guys that he was with, uh, one of them was quite skillful. And there's a shot from what it looks like straight down. These are all of, of Kalen's shots. They were actually doing other I guess you'd call them tricks, you know, how to get up on the the uh, the rope from a sitting position. There's a cool shot from underneath with a fisheye lens. I don't ever use a fisheye fish lens, but Kalen had one. You know, another skill is learning to just stop and be still on, on the cable or the, the rope. You know, if you can steady yourself and find that centering, I like to imagine that uh, inside my ears, my center of balance or is, a, is a cup of water. And that sloshing of the water makes you lose imbalance. But if you can calm yourself and get that water to stand still, then you can find that centering that allows you to stay focused and stay in balance. What's going on here? Oh, that's Kalen. He's just, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing here. I guess he wanted it. Now that's overcoming fears. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. And, uh, you know, don't take this as, as bragging, but take this as um, encouragement to better yourself in many ways. It'll help your business. Help your skills as a better tree climber. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please do.